Hey guys, I chopped off all my hair. I did like a little blunt cut, um, posted a picture on Instagram, so probably a lot of you already know, but just wanted to say that I didn't touch the color. I had a lot of questions about the color. It's just growing out. And I just asked my stylist, who's fabulous, for a blunt cut. I didn't want any layers. It's all one length, um, all the way around. It's harder for me to do the back, but it's just all the same length all the way around and I'm still getting used to it and figuring out how to style it. It's really fun though because I can use conical wand, the curling iron, and it also looks really good just straight. But the thing that I'm loving the most is I'm getting to finally use all of my sea salt and beach sprays because it just, I feel like, looks better like PC and broken up instead of like sleek and straight. So. Look forward to seeing some of those pop up in favorites videos. But anyway, this is going to be a Joe Fresh haul. It is a place I've never shopped at before, something that I'm still just very new to the brand. I used to always hear about their makeup line. I think they started in Canada. I don't know if they started in Canada, Canada but I've always known them to be from like a store in Canada. They have since started making their way into the United States. I think they have five stores now in New York. Have never actually been inside of a store. But I did shop on their website and they are so reasonably priced, number one, and I can shop for myself and shop for Addison all in the same place, which is always so fun. I got her some things and I got me two things. I didn't get a lot of stuff because, like I said, it was my first time shopping there and I wanted to just kind of see the quality and see if I actually like it before I start investing in their brand. I would compare them to the likes of H&M, but I do think that the quality is a little bit better than H&M. One thing I really like about their website is it's not overwhelming. There's not like a huge inventory of stuff. Sometimes I feel like sites, you know, stores, even like take Nordstrom for example, like they just have so much stuff to look at and it gets really overwhelming and I end up not getting anything because I just can't decide. They have a very, I don't want to say limited, but just a smaller offering than I feel like a lot of other brands, which I kind of really like shopping that because I can I don't know, I can actually like make decisions and see things. So I really like that. I'll start with showing you the two things that I purchased for myself. One of them I've already worn. One still has the tags and then I'll show you the three things that I got for Addie. So the first thing I got is this dress and I got it in a size two. And their sizing I'd say is pretty true to size comparing you know, this to the other dress. Those fit like normal. I love this dress. It is a striped, almost like tweed material. It's kind of like a gray, almost blue, it might be even blue, I'm just colorblind, and cream knit, and it has like a kind of like a cool peplum feel to it. I'll show it on so you can actually see what it looks like, but I really love it. It has a zipper, um, it's not exposed, but it zips up the back and kind of just flares out at the bottom. So I really like it. The only thing that I do have a bit of a complaint with it is it pulls very, very easily, as I'm sure you can, well, maybe you can't really see, but there are a lot of pulls. I wore this just for one day, and um, just a lot of pulls, and not so easy to just go underneath and pull it back through like a lot of, um, like a lot of sweaters and other items that I can do that with, so I can't. I can't find the seam, and I can't, it's not, it's just a basic material on the other side so I can't pull the seam through so I've just been cutting them when they get really long like that. I just clip them and so far so good. I haven't had anything unravel. So that's kind of a bummer. I had a long longer pendant necklace on and that's what it was catching on and it's just kind of you know from far away like in the video I don't even really think you can tell but up close it's just like I just see them everywhere. So that aside, I really love the shape of this dress, and I don't regret buying it. It was $49, which I think is very affordable for a nice quality dress. The quality is really nice. The material is really, it's not super heavy, but it is a thicker material. But I, I think with any kind of this tweed-like knit material, you're going to have pulls. I don't think it's a knock against Joe Fresh, but just a word of warning in case you want to purchase that for yourself. I wouldn't wear any kind of like pendant with beads or you know bracelets like that might catch easily and then the other one I got is just a very very basic long maxi dress you guys know I love me some maxi dresses especially in the summer black and white stripe I think I have a thing for stripes stripes get wider as you go down and then it's white on the bottom 
I just, me and stripes, I mean, go together like peanut butter and jelly. It's really nice and soft. It I got it in a small, and it was $29. So, really, really nice. And it looks really cute on, and it doesn't drag on the floor, which is always a win because I'm short, so it's hard to find some maxi dresses that aren't too long where they're like dragging and kicking up all kinds of mud. Okay, three things I got for Addie to die for. Like I died when I saw this. It's a little peplum top, little lace white crocheted peplum top with a little keyhole, a little button. Kind of, almost could be a dress, but really cute with some skinny jeans or any kind of printed jeans or pants or even a skirt or shorts. Really cute, and this was a whopping $19. So I did get hers all in size two. I haven't had any of, I haven't had her wear anything, so I can't speak for the sizing yet, but from the looks of it, it looks like it's pretty typical, like 2T. So that, and then these dresses, oh my god, these dresses, so cute. Little anchors and pink hearts. Again, $19, $19. It's kind of like Target pricing, which is awesome. Really nice cotton material, has buttons up the back, and I just think it's such a cute little summery dress. Fresh. And the last one I got is my favorite. I saved the best for last. It's the exact same fit and form, but it has pink flamingos, which apparently flamingos are becoming very trendy. I don't really know why. I mean, it's not like they haven't been around forever, but just with clothing and accessories, I feel like flamingos are becoming a thing. But it's a light pink and it has this cute little tie in the front, up top, a, a gathered cinched elastic waist, and flamingos. I'm just so cute with some little jellies or sandals. Adorable, again, $19 and a size two in toddler. So they also had this in a romper form, but I just oh, I love her in dresses, so I ended up getting the dresses. And that is it. That completes my little haul. I definitely will be shopping again. I'm very impressed with the quality of her clothes and mine, and I can't wait to wear that maxi dress. It's like calling my name right now, but it's, what do you know, cloudy and cold out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any experiences with Joe Fresh, I'd love to hear your side, like what you think of the quality and the selection and just your experience overall with the brand I would love to hear. I'm really excited to have found this. I also want to say that the shipping was super, super fast, which is amazing. I think the warehouse was in New Jersey, so it was like hop, skip, and a jump to me. I can't wait to visit the store next time I'm in New York. I just, the quality and the pricing is very nice. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This one is soft from the get-go, and it kind of just feels like you're putting on like an oil, like an oil moisturizer. And doesn't leave any kind of residue behind.